Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button, which is right down here. Also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials. I don't do these often, but I definitely think th that these are very helpful and they kind of show you what I do in my everyday eyebrow routine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so today's video is going to be all about how I do my eyebrows. Now I know ever since like pretty much YouTube started, eyebrows have been like what everyone wants to talk about. Like now I guess it's like highlighters and stuff, but eyebrows have been like the main thing that people have wanted to talk about. And I do my eyebrows a little bit differently and over the course of some years I've changed how I've done them. I don't know, I'm just a lot more chill with how I do my eyebrows as well. So I I don't know, I don't, I don't like to carve out my eyebrows. I don't like them to look ultra sculpted or anything. I like them to look a little bit more full and natural, which I think is kind of the trend now um, as well, as opposed to like a few years ago where everyone liked the super carved and sculpted and a little bit on the thin side in my opinion. But yeah, these are my eyebrows. I try out different products for my eyebrows all the time. The one that I absolutely love is these, is these, <laughs> is this Anastasia uh, Brow Definer in dark brown, particularly the color dark brown I really like right now. I may switch to the color chocolate. I don't know. I've, I used to use chocolate when I had like my blonde highlights because my hair was a lot warmer. My hair is a little warmer now. Um, because I've dyed it again, but I don't know, this, but this product in general is very, very good. I used to use the Brow Wiz, um, but this gives you a nice, clean, but full brow very easily. So I would highly, highly recommend this. The only thing about this is that there's like no warning when you're about to run out. It's like one day you're living your life, doing your eyebrows, and the next day you, you click the little stick and no product comes out. There's no warning at all. So for this tutorial in general, I wanted to use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow, uh, brow thing. What is it called? Brow stick or whatever? I don't know. I've been using that in the shade 4 for the past month or so and I enjoy that but I, I'm really just interested to see if there's going to be a warning before it runs out because that's like my primary issue with this. But yeah, both these products are really good. Um, if you guys have any questions about um, my brows, um, what I do, oh let me tell you what I do. I normally get them threaded. I don't do my own eyebrows. If I tweeze them it's because I see like a hair that's obviously a stray hair and it needs to go but I don't shape my own brows at all. I just am not gifted or talented in that in that area so I leave it to the experts I get mine threaded um, it does hurt um, for the first few times I did cry but it's worth it so you know how that goes um, but yeah that is basically it I will show you guys how I do my brows okay for today's video we are going to be using the benefit goof proof brow that you can see there. It's kind of new. I used the shade 4, um, which I was kind of surprised because um, there's two darker shades than that. Um, but that's the one that fits my my hair color the best since I've dyed it. Um, the first thing that we want to do is brush out our brows. This is so important. Unless you just wake up with really great looking groomed brows, you have to brush them out because this is where we kind of set the basis for how we want our eyebrows to be shaped and looked looked <laughs> how we want our eyebrows to look so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the pointy kind of part of this brow pencil and I am going to as precisely as I can draw the line underneath my brows now if your eyebrows are really sparse and you don't have a natural shape it's going to be really important that you press kind of you press down firmly. I know a lot of people say use soft, gentle strokes. Those are really for filling in the brows, not for uh, creating a uh, a prominent shape. So I'm going to kind of firmly press the brow product um, and draw on the shape that I want. And if you mess up in this process, it's fine. <laughs> you can just use concealer to fix it. So um, don't feel like you have to get this perfect. So now that I have the shape that I want, then I can go in and fill in my brows lightly and gently like I am doing now. I don't know what I dropped. Oh well. Okay. 
And just like everything else, you have to blend. The way you blend your eyebrows is by brushing out the product evenly so that it distributes evenly so that you don't have patchy brows or one part of your brow is really dark and defined and another part is like super light. Um, the only kind of gradient you want is in the very beginning of the brow towards the tear duct of the eye. Um, generally, that's a little bit lighter anyway, so it's fine, but um, yeah, you just want to make sure that you brush them out and that it looks neat and nice and whatever. I feel like this is a math equation. What you have to do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So that's what I'm doing, basically. I am doing the same technique, starting at the bottom of the brow, kind of firm strokes um, underneath, getting that really defined because I can't express how important this part is to get a defined looking brow. Even if you don't like your brows as thick as mine, you still need to do this step. Um, and then after I got the shape, I will kind of um, go to the top of the brow and do the same exact thing. This is my problem child brow. Does everyone have that? Like you have one brow that like acts right and then you have a brow that never acts right. Never. This is the one that never acts right. That's why I do the other brow first so that I can kind of get like confidence and then I move on to the other brow. Does anyone else do that? No, no. Okay. Um, and kind of the same thing once I have defined the shape and outlined it, I will fill it in with soft gentle strokes. Um, just really trying to make this brow look like the other brow as much as I can. Like I mentioned before, I do not spend like 30 minutes on my brows. I, this probably takes me like five 10 minutes max I really want to say five minutes I, I do my brows like very very quickly now but I don't spend a lot of time on my brows anymore just because I feel like it's not fun when you stress out over your brows so okay after that is all blended out and good to go I want to show you what to do if you make a mistake like I said it is not the end of the world I still make mistakes on my brows all the time I'm taking a kind of pointy flat um, eyeshadow brush this actually came in the Urban Decay uh, Naked palette I put some Pro Longwear concealer from Mac on my hand and I am pretty much erasing any stray hairs or any mistakes I may have made. You can also do this on the very top of your brow if you feel like you made your brows too big or large or if you just made a little bit of mistakes on the top of your brow. Um, if you do do that, I recommend doing your eyebrows first. That way you do not have halo brow. Um, you want this to look as natural as possible. Um, so yeah, I don't normally do this step, but um, it definitely helps to get a clean Green. <laughs> clean and crisp defined brow. Okay, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Don't normally use this. Wanted to show you guys what it would look like on top. This is really a fiber brow product um, that you can use instead of the brow pencil. This only really works if you already have brow hairs, not if you don't have any hairs and you are trying to make it look like you have some. So just wanted to tell you guys about that. And these are my brows, all done, filled in, and blended out. Yay! I hope that tutorial was helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed filming it for you all. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on a Snapchat, since I talk a lot about beauty products and things that I'm into on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get alerted and updated when I make new beauty videos and never miss a beat. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.